This video is in response to a question I received about the previous video I just posted. It's titled Google Sheets Query on Checkbox Criteria. I had a friend from the UK ask, hey, it would be nice if we could include a optional date range criteria in addition to these checkbox criteria text items we already have and I agree so one thing I just want to point out before we jump into this is uh, since my friend is in the UK I formatted dates and currency amounts in the UK format so please keep that in mind this is UK date format so what we want to do is create a query that will pull back results based on a date range only if this checkbox is selected. If it's not, we want to pull back all of the dates. So in a nutshell, what we need to do is insert two different queries inside an if statement that is dependent on whether or not this checkbox is selected. So the first thing I want to do though is just build the date portion on top of our first query. So what I'm going to do is within our first select statement, I'm going to insert an and statement and we want to point to column I because that's where our note date values are. So we also want anything in column I that is greater than or equal to the begin date of our date range criteria if this box is selected. I'm going to end our select statement right now. Before I come out of the double quote, I'm gonna insert a single quote because our date value needs to be enclosed in single quotes. And I also need to precede this with the keyword date. So we're gonna use the and symbol to concatenate our date value and we need to use the text function to format our date value. So I'm gonna select that cell. We're gonna format this as a date and what I found is regardless of what country date format you have, the text format to insert in the query function is the same. So it's gonna be year, four digit year, two digit month, two digit day. So we're gonna use the and symbol to concatenate this back to our select statement. Reopen our double quote. And the first thing I wanna do is insert a single quote to enclose this date value within single quotes. So now we want anything in column I that is less than or equal to the end date of our date range. So what I'm gonna do is copy everything we've already created here. Paste it in there, change our sign to less than, change our cell reference to the ending date of our date range and end our select statement with a double quote. So we'll hit enter and see how that looks. And right now it currently filters on that date range, but we want it to be conditional on this checkbox. And you can see right now it's not, it doesn't do anything. What we wanna do is insert an if statement. So if the value in cell I3 equals true. And the weird thing about this is you do not need to enclose this true value in single quotes like you have to with some of these other items in the query select statement. I guess it's because we're dealing with the if statement in this case. So if that cell has a checkbox or a value of true, which is the same, we want to perform this first query. If it is unchecked and therefore false, what we wanna do is run our original query without the date criteria. So what we need to do here is 
end our select statement with a quote and add another row header label for our second query statement. And now if we uncheck this box, you can see we get all of our date values. If I select all the way down, we have a count of 37 rows, which if I go to our data set, we have 37 rows counting our header. So that pulls back everything. And if I select it again, maybe I expand our date range to maybe August 1st, you can see it adjusts accordingly. And if I uncheck this, we get, again, all our values. I hope this helps. If it doesn't, let me know, leave a comment. You won't hurt my feelings. Appreciate the input and your comments.